Tonight, the High Life Fronton in Fort Pierce kicks off a new season. The celebration of a new season on the Treasure Coast comes as the Palm Beach High Life Fronton gets ready to close its doors forever. News Channel 5's Night Beat reporter Bill Alexander has been talking with High Life workers and fans about what all this means for their sport. It is far from being opening day at Joe Robbie Stadium, but for the diehard High Life fans and players, nothing can match it. No fancy press box catering with 60,000 fans, just a little backroom party to kick off the season. Everywhere I go, people keep asking me, when are you going to open? When are you going to open? Well, here we are. We're open. They're open all right, but down the interstate in West Palm Beach, the gone fishing sign will soon be hanging. The 45th Street Fronton fell on bad financial times, losing its state license over unpaid taxes. The Palm Beach County loss is St. Lucie's gain. The two closest frontons are Dania to the south and here in Fort Pierce to the north. And given all the bad publicity over the summer, no one really wants to go south. In Dade and Broward counties, attacks on innocent tourists and motorists are still fresh in many minds. Now that they're closed, we will probably get some of the hardcore high life fans that they, they will not mind traveling up here. It's fun to watch. It's very exciting, especially when you're winning. I understand you have a really a personal interest in it. Uh, yes, uh, my husband's a player here. It's a good night out, I would think, as far as comparable to other places, it's a good night out. And a good night for the betting booths, too. And the management is hoping it will last through April of next year. In St. Lucie County on the Night Beat, I'm Bill Alexander, News Channel 5.